Hey guys, Shrez here, and today is going to be a quick talk about single Teslas, which I know a few people are a fan of, but very few. Um, I have mixed feelings about them, and then, of course, Tesla Farms, which everyone is so afraid of when attacking. So predictable, but so deadly. So, with that being said, we're going to hop right into a base I built a long time ago and just kind of talk through the differences and what each is good for. So, uh, I gotta say, on a fresh hit, single Teslas and troll Teslas are no, not troll Teslas. Tesla farms are both good for screwing up the attacker a lot. Um, because single Teslas can really screw up an attacker's pathing. Let's say this attacker wanted to attack from this side, and then he puts a golem down here, but the golem gets sidetracked, and then it walks all the way up there. And then same down here, it gets pulled to the Tesla, and they walk. So, you have no tanking, and then when you enter the base from, like, say, here to here, your golems have walked, your heroes might even have walked, your bowlers may even have walked, but whatever is left that enters the base, one, not going to be tanked for, and two, not going to be a whole lot. So, that's one of the strengths of single Teslas, as well as spreading your DPS that can't really be exploited on a cleanup pit, unlike a Tesla farm, which, say, I had a Tesla farm here. Oops. But say I had a Tesla farm here. Not very hard to do, but on a cleanup hit, you could just have someone clean walk this entire section. Uh, maybe break in here, get the queen, get all the smelly, get the queen, and then hog the rest because there's really easy path. The best. So, on a fresh hit though, I don't think they're going to do that, because of course you can't see Tesla's, you can't see traps, so they don't see that there's going to be that much value near that. Uh, I don't know, it's possible. But, the main point of troll Single Teslas is that it can't be exploited as heavily on cleanup while a Tesla farm can, even if it's away from clean. You could have a entry all the way away from clean, take out that pesky Tesla farm, and then you could easily double jump your way through all the way to clean. Not on this base, I'm just saying in general. Not that you probably could on this base. The benefits of having Tesla farm is forcing the attacker to choose between objectives. When you have single Teslas, they're not really considered objectives, they're just considered like a nice bonus. If you get them, I mean, it's not too much, it's not too big of a deal if you don't get them. I think they have less DPS than Expos, a lot less range, a lot less HP. I like them because of their surprise factor and their hidden factor, which is amazing, obviously, but I like Teslas for that reason. So that's why Tesla farms are so commonly used. I mean, you don't see persons stacking like six archer towers on one side and calling it archer tower farm because, <laughs> well, I mean, there are people who do that, like in an anti anti air base. Like one hive used to be war whales with a shit ton of anti air bases, which weren't even good, honestly. They could so easily be exploited. But that's besides the point. But they did stack six archer towers, but. Those could easily be exploited by a clean walk because they weren't that stacked together and obviously it was visible on a fresh hit. Okay, so. Signal Teslas, they can't really be exploited on cleanup. But again, along with that comes the factor of not that much value for single Teslas. If a kill squad blows through a base and you already took out like a few of these control Teslas over here, right, and then, or not, I keep on saying troll Teslas, but say a kill squad blows through base, takes care of about two of the Teslas, half, about two, takes care of two Teslas, and then you just have two spare Teslas, that's not really much of a threat, especially when they're not close enough together, but 
what would be a threat, like I said before, is some guy decided to jump, double jump through here, barely navigate, one jump here, second jump here. And, I mean, you're getting decent value, you're not getting these strange points, but that's not too much big a deal. And you come down here, and what is it? Barb King, uh, Skeleton Traps, and Tesla Farm? Your hogs are screwed. So, like I was saying, Tesla Farms are decent on a fresh hit, they're going to screw up an attack that doesn't predict it. But that being said, a Tesla Farm is usually predictable. Which I guess you could negate, obviously, but this is a good place to have a Tesla farm, obviously, as you can tell. Huge 2 by x space, you have uh, high HP protecting it. Which is why, like, when you have a Tesla farm, you are going to try and juke the attacker out into thinking that there's not one. For example, let's take a look at this base. Not that one, that's ugly. I do have a base under it, but this is kind of obvious, but it is a Tesla farm, like I was saying. It's going to be very helpful on fresh hit, and it's going to be decent on cleanup because Queen is up here, Tesla farm is down here, and you, you can't double jump this base, like I said. But I wanted to juke the attacker out, thinking that there could be a Tesla farm over here. It was huge. It's going to scout view. It could be from anywhere from here to here. Or even inside the base. So, there's lots of possibilities. I mean, I wouldn't place this puzzle from over here any higher than over here. They both could work, especially since there's a sweeper cover over them. So, what you, what you want to do with Teslas uh, in a Tesla farm is trick the attacker into thinking that there isn't one, or at least there isn't one where you, where you put it. And then of course, single Teslas, not a lot of people are using them. Oh yeah, here's another good example. So, I got the D here, and then take a look at the scout view. If you take a look, sorry, I don't know if the audio was weird just now. But if you take a look at the scout view, it could as easily be here, except for that one spot. But one, two, three, four, right? It could easily be as here as here. The only difference is that one is D was in Town Hall. And to me, that doesn't make much of a difference. They're also e equidistant from Queen, practically. I mean, it would be more equidistant if Queen was up here, but whatever. This could be a Tesla farm, this could be a Tesla farm. They're both covered by sweepers, they're both more symmetrical. So you want to at least confuse the attacker, or maybe, maybe you could ha think, have the attacker think it's over here or over here, and then you would really have it by this archer tower, which would really screw up attack. But like I said, it's over here. You can confuse the attacker because it could just as well be over here. And then if you want to play advanced mind games, well, he put two Tesla farm locations which are probable, but in fact, it's over here near Queen Island. It's in the protection. There's a gigantic gaping hole there. So why wouldn't there be a Tesla farm there? I mean, you could fit four Teslas. One, two, three, four. So again, why wouldn't there be a Tesla farm there? So, when you're trying kind to of defend a fresh hit, all you want to do is play mind games with the attacker when you're trying to place Tuzzlas, which, which is pretty important. But with single Tuzzlas, that's less of a concern. I mean, if you just threw one over here, it would screw up pathing, but like, even if it was expected, it's still going to screw up pathing, and it's not going to give the kill squad a ton of value compared to, say, four Tuzzlas here when you Back to the original base. This base has four single Tuzzlas. This, these are kind of grouped. But single Tuzzlas are good for spreading out DPS, so not giving away too much value on a cleanup hit. And also, screwing pathing, which is very important, especially with how strong boulders are nowadays. So, I was kind of leaning towards Tuzzle Farms for a while, and then Bane. I don't know if you guys know him, but Bane, kind of an advocate for single Tesla, so I mean, I saw his logic. It's pretty useful in certain scenarios, especially for pathing. Like, say you have a base where one one side is just begging to be hit with Stone Hobo, and then you can use single Tesla to screw up their pathing. And of course, single Tesla's are even harder. 
I know, they're not that hard, but... A loon swap here might not even work because you have Archer Tower, Archer Tower, Tesla, Wizard Tower, and Air Bomb. So, a loon swap might not even work. You push it now, you could not push that out, but... Tesla's, uh, single Tesla's are really a pain to uh, deal with when pathing, but in terms of DPS or just scram attack overall, besides, of course, the entry, it's not that significant, like I said before. Two Teslas is a lot less to worry about than four Teslas, a king, and spring traps, or skeleton spells. And then Tesla farm, the pros and cons. It's definitely better on a fresh hit, in my opinion, because uh, as long as the attacker doesn't predict it, it's going to screw up an attack pretty bad most of the time. I mean, there are some times where the kill squad like luckily gets it, or you somehow your kill squad comes out of the base alive and cleans it up for you as you just drop a few hogs on it. In which case, it's not that big of a deal, but it's definitely stronger on a fresh hit. Uh, it's weaker on cleanup, and stronger overall, making like the attacker need to. Sorry, what was I gonna say? Pick up, pick objectives. So. Like I was saying, in this box space, on a, I mean, I doubt they're going to get to this end phase unless they know there's a Actually, I should probably make this less conspicuous. Put this over here. Okay, now it looks better. This looks a lot more sketchy. But. Uh, attacker's main concern is always clean no matter if you're attacking the air around. Should I put this air defense here? Right, uh, against suicide dragons, so... I guess... No, you could not pen it, yeah. That's what I was talking about. CC, you can't pen it. But, say an attacker comes from over here, takes out Queenie, but you're not going to get all the way down here, so... Even on a cleanup hit, it's going to be hard, going from one end of the space, and then what, like, quadruple jumping your way all the way up here. So, Tales of Farms, make your, uh, make the attackers split up objectives, but single Tesla's, again, they're not too much of a worry, especially if your kill squad got a few. Okay, so, that's that. I think it was pretty comprehensive in terms of single Teslas versus Tesla farms, if there's anything I missed, I'm sure you guys can crack me on it, but I think I got most of the basics down. I mean, more advanced, I guess, is like exact tiles for aggro, but I'm not sure if it's. I'll leave you guys with this. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, drop a like, comment down below, whatever. <laughs> Even toss a sub for the 1% of you guys who are not sub. And then maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll get to 200 before summer. So that's it for today. Sure, it's out.